In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT based water quality monitoring system using Arduino, pH sensor, Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi Fi module, and Blink application. This is an IoT, Internet of Things based project. The water quality can be monitored from anywhere around the world. In this episode, I will practically explain how to measure the pH value of the well water. And I will also explain whether the water under test is good or bad for health. In this tutorial, you will also learn how to use the 16 into 2 LCD widget in the Blink application. This is version 2 of the pH sensor water quality monitoring system. While in version 1, I covered the extreme basics like for example, what is pH? How a pH sensor works? How to measure the pH value of different liquids. In version 1, I also explained how to calibrate the pH sensor. So if you are using pH sensor for the first time, then I highly recommend first you should watch version 1 and then you can resume from here. In this episode, we will cover number 1, complete circuit diagram. Number 2, pH sensor unboxing. Number 3, pH sensor pin out. Number 4, pH sensor and node MCO ESP8266 Wi Fi module interfacing with Arduino. Number 5, Arduino and node MCU programming. And finally, number 6, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module power supply. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. This is a 5 volt regulated power supply which is used to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. This power supply is based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the female power jig and this is where we connect a 12 volt adapter, a battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with a VN pin of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module and the ground is connected with the ground. SV1 and SV2 are the female headers. The connections of the node MCU module and pH sensor will be explained during the interfacing. This is the final power supply board designed for powering up the node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. Its PCB designing, online order placement, and soldering is already explained in my previous tutorial. I will provide a link in the description if you want to learn how to design this PCB board. This PCB is developed by the PCBA company. The PCB board file can be downloaded from my website. This is the analog pH sensor kit from the DF robot. DF robot is a leading robotics and open source hardware provider. They create innovative user friendly hardware and software products that become the building blocks in all kinds of electronic projects. 
I personally recommend you should definitely visit www.dfrobot.com. This speed sensor kit is best for measuring the water quality and other parameters. It has an LED which works as the power indicator, a pH sensor, a PNC connector, a variable resistor which is used for the calibration which I will explain during the testing and pH 2.0 sensor interface circuit. Its interfacing with the Arduino is really simple. Connect the red wire with the Arduino's 5 volt. Connect the black wire with the Arduino's ground. Connect the blue wire with the Arduino's analog pin A0. Connect the TX and RX pins of the node MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Connect ground pin of the node MCU module with the Arduino's ground. First of all, open the Blink application. Set the project name as PHMeter. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. Make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID which will be then used in the programming. Simply copy and paste it in the programming. Now click on the screen and search for the LCD widget and add it. Our application is ready and now let's discuss the programming. In this project two programs are used. This program is written for the Arduino while this program is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Let's first of all start with the Arduino programming. This is the same program I used in version 1 of the pH sensor water quality monitoring system. This time I made a few changes. I added these two libraries. The stdlib.h library has a standard function which is used for converting the float value into the string value. While the software serial.h library is used for creating multiple serial ports. As I always said, never use the Arduino's default serial port for communication with other devices. As you know, in Arduino, we have only one serial port, which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. The Arduino's default serial port should only be used for the debugging purposes. Now the question is, if we are using the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes, then how we will connect the Node MCU module with the Arduino? Well, no worries at all. We can use the software serial library for creating multiple serial ports. 
So that's the reason I added the software serial library and defined a serial port with the name node MCU on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. So the node MCU module TX and RX pins will be connected with the Arduino's pin number 2 and pin number 3. Another change that I made to the program is I added this function which is used to convert a float value into the string value. Then I added the string value along with the comma which is used as the delimiter. Finally, the string message is sent to the node MCU module and at the end we empty the string for new data. Now let's discuss the node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the Node MCU board. The link is given in the description. Data to the LCD widget is sent through the virtual pin V2. Then I defined two variables of the type string. This is the authentication token which was sent via email. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Maximum of the variables and instructions used in this program are exactly the same as explained in my previous IoT based projects. Since a value 1 is a user defined function and is executed every one second. Then starts the while loop function. This condition means if no data is received from the Arduino then simply keep running these two functions. What this condition means if the node MCU module has received data from the Arduino then simply read the serial port and add the received character with the my string variable to make the complete message. This condition makes sure that the entire message is received. Get value is a user defined function and is already explained in my previous tutorial IoT based car parking slots monitoring system. The purpose of this function is to split the string message using comma as the delimiter. The sensor value is stored in the variable i and then finally we print some text on the 16 into 2 LCD widget and send the sensor value to the LCD which is printed on second row of the LCD. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this project in action. Let's check the pH value of the well water. The pH of pure water is 7. In general, water with a pH lower than 7 is considered acidic and with a pH greater than 7 is considered basic. The normal range for pH in surface water systems is 6.5 to 8.5 and the pH range for groundwater systems is between 6 to 8.5. Water is taken from underground sources and not treated or modified in any way will have a pH between 7.2 and 7.8 which is the ideal range for good health. The water under test is in the ideal range and has a pH value of around 7.4 which is considered good for health. In my upcoming tutorial, I will upgrade this project and will use a waterproof temperature sensor with a pH sensor. This way we can monitor the water quality and temperature. I will practically perform some tests on the river water. So subscribe right now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.